Weathering Waves is a game being developed by the same company that brought us Punishing Grey Raven. It's like an action packed gotcha game. Bunch of waifus running around hacking and slashing. Weathering Waves has some serious potential though. It's starting to be a heavy contender to Genshin Impact. It's because their dev team has more determination than the Mighty Ducks themselves. TLDR Genshin Impact walked into a bar late one evening after losing a million followers on their social media platforms. So Genshin Impact goes ahead, orders a drink, and then another one, and Pikachu walks into the bar plops his cute little tail right next to genshin impact fast forward nine months later weathering waves is born weathering waves had a closed beta players didn't really like what they were playing at the time they voiced their concerns and the dev team went back into the lab and they overhauled 90 percent of the game when it comes to the voiceovers when it comes to the actual content the storytelling pretty remarkable and I believe somewhere in there, they added this thing called Echoes. And it might've been in Playtest 1, but it's catching a lot of hype right now. Echoes is pretty much like a Pokemon that wanders the world of weathering waves. And you have the ability to catch this Echo, train it up, and it provides your party with some additional buffs. And I haven't really covered gotcha games on the channel before, but the gotcha game ecosystem pretty much becoming the gold standard pretty much replaces loot boxes. No more loot boxes. That was last year. And it's even a heavy contender to the tried and true battle pass. Pretty much the gotcha formula is release a hot waifu everybody needs or everybody wants her on their team. So they go, they ask mom and dad, hey, can I borrow a couple bucks? Next thing you know, waifu in the pocket, boom, on the account. Then you make a little social post like, look at this, I'm so cool. And they rinse and repeat this. Psychological manipulation, I'm calling it. They got teams of PhDs in the lab cooking up and really trying to get deep within your brain to convince you that you need these waifus. No shade to the gaming companies either. I get it. They make a free to play game. It costs billions of dollars to create these games. So they got to make their money somehow. The only thing I start to scratch my head and don't really understand are these whales where they're out there flexing their accounts worth a hundred thousand dollars. These are people that rather have a hundred thousand dollars worth of characters on their phone in a game that could be discontinued any day compared to a porsche cayenne and it's 400 horsepower i mean it's the new flex of 2024 hey check out my account baby so this weathering waves drama or whatever you want to call it up against genshin impact has been cooking up now because genshin impact well they recently had this whole little dev update and at the end, they're like, hey, we got you. We're going to hook you up. And the community just went wild. They started burning up the papers. They started throwing the printers out the office windows, protesting. Genshin Impact and just Hoyo in general, they've lost millions of followers because of this simple act. All because they didn't want to give their players a decent prize for playing their game. Holy cow. Imagine being a billion dollar company and giving people only three free things so let me know weathering waves are you excited to play it that's gonna be it for me dungeon dave out